Welcome, friends. When the Elementary Secondary Education Act was reauthorized as No Child Left Behind in 2001, opponents said standards-based reform would lead to a set of national learning standards and tests. Advocates countered this criticism, arguing otherwise. More than a decade later, predictions from opponents of standards-based education have proven somewhat true. In 2014, 44 states adopted Common Core English Language Arts and Mathematics standards, and two standardized assessments have been planned for use beginning the 2014 school year. In 2009, Common Core state standards were developed by para-governmental organizations, including National Governors Association and Council of Chief State School Officers. Adoption of the standards is voluntary, but states choosing to neglect adoption risk losing federal education dollars or may suffer penalties under No Child Left Behind legislation. Common Core and its associated tests are not just for English and math teachers. Accountability models which seek to use student test achievement data for evaluation include teachers of non-tested subjects, making them responsible for a portion of student literacy and numeracy learning at the school level. Standards are published online and as documents. There are 66 pages of English language arts standards and 93 pages of mathematical standards. English language arts standards are sorted into primary K-5 and secondary 612. ELA subjects include reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Standards are organized beneath anchor standards, which define general literacy expectations. Anchor standards apply to all grades, and there is one set for each ELA subject. Beneath anchor standards are grade-specific standards, which define end-of-year expectations for advancing to the next grade. There are 10 to 4 specific standards for each grade, depending upon the ELA subject. An example anchor standard for reading is to analyze how and why individuals, events, and ideas develop and interact over the course of a text. An example writing standard for grade 5 is to conduct short research projects that use several sources to build knowledge through investigation of different aspects of a topic. And a language standard for grade 7 is to use common, grade-appropriate Greek and Latin affixes and roots as clues to the meaning of a word. Common Core includes standards for English language arts. There are no specific standards for other disciplines, such as social studies or history, other than knowledge and skills associated with ELA. Here are some example standards which may relate to other subjects for grade 7 writing, grade 8 writing, grade 6 reading, and grades 9 through 10 reading. Mathematics standards are sorted into K-8 and high school rather than K-5 and secondary like ELA. After grade 8, specific subjects are identified for organizing the standards, such as algebra, functions, geometry, and statistics. There are a set of eight mathematics practices which describe general types of expertise teachers work to develop with their students. Each standard of practice is explained with a brief paragraph and all eight practices apply to every grade. For example, one mathematics practice is make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Domains are short phrases used to organize groups of standards. For example, one domain in kindergarten is count to tell the number of objects. There are 21 to 43 standards per grade or subject. For example, for first grade, in the domain of measurement and data, students tell and write time in hours and half hours using analog and digital clocks. In high school geometry, the domain is understand congruence and similarity using physical models or geometry software, and one of the standards within this domain is 
verify experimentally the properties of rotations, reflections, and translations. Comparing ELA standards with Common Core shows some similarities and differences. For example, both sets of standards require clear and effective writing with development of ideas. However, students in Washington use pre-writing strategies to generate and plan writing, whereas Common Core does not mention pre-writing within the language of the standards. Comparing mathematics state standards with Common Core also shows similarities and differences. For example, Washington standards and Common Core require use of multiplication for solving word problems. However, Washington standards are shown as discrete items in a list with related standards near one another, whereas Common Core shows brief paragraphs with examples and some emphasis on progressions with phrases such as move students to and continue to. Two tests have been developed for Common Core, including Smarter Balanced and Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Career, or PARC. Each test was developed with funding by the federal government, and states adopting Common Core are using one or the other of these tests. There are three types of items on the Smarter Balanced test, including Selected Response, Constructed Response, and Performance Tasks. The test is computer adaptive, meaning the testing software provides questions of greater or less difficulty based on the test taker's grade level and correct answers. There are 42 to 48 questions on the ALA portion of the test, and 37 to 43 questions on the mathematics portion. Depending on grade, there may be 0 to 2 performance tasks in ELA and 0 to 6 constructed response and performance tasks in mathematics. Each test, ELA and mathematics, require 2 and a half to 4 hours for completion. Tests will be fully implemented during the 2014-2015 school year. Some of the features for navigation or assistance test takers may expect show on this image. Schools and districts will require sufficient technology such as computers, headphones, and internet access for deploying the test. This is an example selected response question for ELA, and another selected response involving a video clip. Here is a sample constructed response. This is a sample performance task for grade 11, and another performance task. Here is a sample selected response item for mathematics. This is a constructed response item, and yet another constructed response item for mathematics. Constructed and performance response items will be scored by a person rather than computer. Examining the trajectory of standards-based change suggests the following. Teacher and principal evaluations based at least in part on student test achievement. Comparisons between teachers, schools, and districts to inform policy. Development of a national language arts and mathematics curricula development of standards and tests in other subject areas, and continued use of student test achievement for distribution of rewards and punishments to schools and districts.